Aries, someone that's playing for you is pop shit. So, you might be in your bag right now. You in your little baggy bag. Yeah, look, you on your high horse in regards to whatever you presenting or promoting. But it's just an expression you putting out there or you in some sort of third dimensional position. And it's like, you want everybody to see this or everybody can see that you in some type of place of understanding or just knowing about what you got going on. Shit, you might have got a promotion at work. Now you letting everybody know you might not be saying it, but just through your passion and expression, it's like you, you letting your external world know, okay, something must be going on in Ariesville because Aries is, Aries is popping right now. People see you in some sort of place energetically when it just comes to you expressing yourself or third dimensionally external to you. People see you in a higher class, so to speak, than where you were previously in regarding your mind, imaginations, your ideas, or what you put your time and energy into. And you know what side of the fence you pop. <laughs> you popping. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, six of cups. So if, if you were in a position, you could have accepted a new emotion from something. It's like you, you may have been so closed off emotionally for a while in regards to when you were just feeling, yeah, you were, you were, you weren't accepting feelings from people or just from your mind about things. If it ain't make sense, can't make dollars type shit. But it, in, it's like nothing emotional may have made sense to you for a certain period of time in your life. But now, up until something new came, it was like whether it was an emotion you never felt or it's a new way of feeling about something that you've already been doing that you never felt about it. But yet you feeling like that brought you strength and released you from some sort of internal shackles. You was caught up in your mind about your truth or what you thought your truth should be because of X, Y, Z. This person was telling you that your family, your parents were telling you that your friends, your friends, your associates was telling you that your boss was telling you one thing. So you had a whole different, uh, different truths that you thought were probably your truth or you were trying to make other people's truths your truth up until you you started feeling differently about the overall idea of that topic subject or situation and you started feeling differently because you were we the ones yeah at the end of the day we the ones your masculine and feminine energy is what is what has to say so in regards to your reality so you accepted a new feeling whether that was from someone external to you who brought you that mind, someone could have, it's like you could have received emotions from a type of person, a type of character in your world that you never really give that type of energy to. You never really pay attention to some shit like that or someone who involves themselves in X, Y, and Z. But the one time you did is the one time it brought a major change in your life. You feel me? And now you, now it has you thinking and investing yourself differently. Cancer Look, family. you done expanded. You grew a little bit. You might be dealing with a cancer. You don't have to be. All because look, you invested in something that was that it, not only was it new to you, but you probably there was probably some uncertainty in whether it was just a perspective you came up with or someone external to you or something external to you brought a new emotion out of you. And you decide to, you made the decision to dig a little deeper. You doing that put you in a position. Now, look, someone outside of you, you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Don't have to be. Someone outside of you could be in a position where now that you got this new sense of emotion, now that you're opening your feelings, or, or you could just be opening up your options in order, because you want a relationship. It's like that. If it's that, shoot and wear it. Someone outside you could want to come holla at you real quick because they don't want you to be open to new emotional suitors, male or female. It's like you made a judgment. It's time to do something different. It's time to do something new. Look, fool came out and it's time to do something different. It's time to do something new. Now you no longer caught up in your mind about what you were in or what you are in or what you want to do or what you're gonna do. You found the strength to do it and invest in that, whatever that is. Someone outside of you may not be able to wrap their head around the fact that you're no longer expressing or giving to them that, him, her. You're no longer feeding that energy, whether, whether that energy is within a person or just within yourself. You're no longer scratching that itch because you realize the more you scratched it, the worse the wound got, the worse the habit pattern or just your expressions got. So now you're taking the leap of faith in a different type of direction. You know what? I'm going to get into some different habits. I'm going to get into some different hobbies, some different friends, associations, or just whatever you're dealing with.
You're taking a leap of faith and you're no longer investing in what you once thought was the truth that turned out to be a lie. Could have been the truth for somebody outside of you, but as far as Aries is concerned, that was not your truth. I want the one to come holler at you though. They're gonna come slide at you, slide on you. Yeah, look what came out. They, they want they don't want you to be in this space of being guarded or defensive or knowing or feeling new or just accepting new feelings. Someone wants you to keep taking what you've been taking so that they can have some sort of way or vision or image. In, it's like someone's trying to manifest what they see their world should be. In their world, you are a certain type of way, Aries, and you can't not be that way because then their world will fall apart. You're dealing with some type of person, let me tell you, if you're dealing with people. If it's just you versus you, this was one hell of an internal battle, wasn't it? Your desires, your serpent was all up in your ear. Hey, yo, bite this apple. Hey, yo, you, you know how you feel when we get into shit like that. Go ahead and do that to your higher minds made of new use. Like you had a lot of enough to know why you shouldn't do that no more. Enough experience firsthand. Judgment to change the way you see something. To change the way you invest in that, him, her, their, whatever you was doing. Yeah, you ain't fucking with it no more. And somebody still want you to fuck with it though. Yeah, look, you ain't fucking with it no more. Fire you over it. You cause you know it wasn't working. You know it wasn't working. You tried. We ain't gonna act like you ain't tried to make it work. But you knew no matter what you did, it would always be the same. Whatever it was. That's why you ain't giving it no more thought. Look, you knew now that you think about it, it was bad from the jump. You know, now that you think about what you done invested, the time and energy, all that shit done went down the drain. Now that you really look at it, you was really wasting your time. Nah, you wasn't wasting your time because you got some knowledge. Now you know what energy to you. You smell that energy within people, within environments before you even invest in it now. You can smell some shit before you have to invest in it. Knife talk. Yeah, you might be real cutting when you express something to someone or when you, when you remove yourself to in a space. You're going to do it real. Like, you ain't wasting no more time here, basically. You, you, you running out the door. Fuck a walk. Fuck a skip. You, know, you might not even sell motherfuckers you out. Yeah, because you know something was real nasty. Something was real toxic. If it's you versus you, you may be getting in a position where it's like you might have to fight fire with fire. You may have to be a little manipulative, be a little controlling, be a little toxic to, to put yourself in a different space. Now, because now that you're over it, you see what you're in has you in a different in a place you don't want to be in. This is an unjust situation. And the longer you stay here, the longer you're going to be stressed the fuck out. So now you're in a position where it's like, all right, now I got to, you might have to get a little nasty in order to separate from these people, in order to remove yourself from this environment. You know what that means for you. Now, if you know you don't got to do some shit, then don't do some shit. If it's you versus someone outside of you, then yes, someone outside of you is real toxic over you because you take, you, you no longer taking their shit pretty much. The truth they used to bring you, the truth they, they could just tell you any old thing. They Sometimes they the shit they told you, they don't even remember, or that shit ain't even make sense, but it worked back in the day. Fast forward, that shit ain't sticking no more. You ain't rolling with that no more. Yeah, I'm telling you, listen, if it's you versus someone outside of you, you got a real, now that you in this place of accepting new and you feeling different and you just not feeling about what you used to be feeling about, you got someone outside of you on your ass. Let me tell you, whether you see it or not, you probably not even paying these folk no mind no more. Oh, they paying you a whole lot of mind. I'll tell you that much. Folks is paying you a whole lot of mind because you were their world. You would aspire. You would have sparked that made shit happen and you up and left. And yeah, it's dark. It's dark over there. You know what that means. You. Yeah, look, you was the star in the world. You brought, you were the sun in their life. And the, you were the sun in their life and you brought in life. Now that you ain't shining over there. Oh yeah, the grass, the grass ain't green no more. 
Yeah, the, the paint on the house chipping. I mean, feel me? It's like that. It's some world is slowly falling apart. Whether we talk about their internal world, they can't think right. They trying to make decisions. They never made decisions. Aries was the one who really made all the decisions. But now that Aries ain't lighting up their mind, bringing life to their ideas, their investments, their directions. Oh, yeah, some shit falling apart. And yeah, someone watching. If it's you versus someone outside, be careful, folks. It's crazy outside. You, you might have one of them. Might have one of them. Or you might have to be one of them in order for you to put yourself in the place to move and elevate out of a space now that you're aware. Now that you can see where you at, you don't want to be where you at. But in order to get out of that, you might have to throw a couple. You feel me? Put your foot in the shoe that fits you.